day, shiny happy people. I hope your day is going the way you want it to. This week, during a conversation about the weather, my friend asked, why do climate change deniers deny? I really couldn't answer her question at the time because it wasn't something I'd actually thought about before, but I did go away and ponder it. My initial reaction was that there's not a one-size-fits-all climate change denier. Different strokes for different folks, so I thought I'd break it down a bit. Firstly, they are those who have some form of financial stake in anything that may be to blame for accelerating climate change, such as top executives or investors of fossil fuel companies. These people clearly wouldn't want their cash cows drying up due to the public seeking alternatives. Instead of reinvesting in green energy technologies, they fund bad research slanted in order to achieve the answers they want, failing to accept peer-reviewed studies done by eminent scientists. These are the same kind of people as the tobacco company bosses who for years absolutely denied smoking was bad for you. But we all know how that one panned out. Also in this category are of course the absolute liars. Online personalities with websites to be paid for and books to be sold. They very possibly don't have an opinion one way or another about climate change or global warming, as in reality all that's important to them is fame, notoriety and money. They are wise to their vulnerable and ignorant demographic and will exploit that at every given opportunity. Next bunch of deniers are probably what some Brits have started calling gammons. White, right-wing, middle-aged to elderly men. These people are too set in their ways and too old and stubborn to care about learning new things or what the world might look like in 50 years time. Being outdated and ill-informed is their way of life. Their idea of research is reading a right-wing tabloid newspaper. Next, well I suppose we can call them sheeple since the conspiracy theorists love this word so much. They will choose to believe what is mentioned by those in the first category, or even worse, some mouthy online personality who knows feck all about feck all. They're inclined to take the word of the inexperienced and unqualified over professional experienced scientists. Their own knowledge of science is scant, and they will occasionally have the tendency to state that climate change is God's will, just to get out of the argument. A side shoot of this category is those that choose to believe climate change is due to the imaginary planet Nibiru. They are the saddest of them all. Finally, I wonder if there may be those who psychologically cannot or will not accept that they in their lifetime actions and choices may have had a small part to play in hastening climate change. Subconscious guilt about the legacy they leave for future generations causes them, whether they know it or not, to exercise confirmation bias, accepting only the information that absolves them of any responsibility. Any other types, shiny happy people? Let me know. Have a blessed Sunday. Bye.